we going to the past, present challenge, and outcome? So Aquarius, in the recent past, we have the Ten of Cups. Now this is one of the most uplifting cards in the tarot. It can point to happiness, perhaps in a more mature, grown-up kind of way, as opposed to the wish fulfillment card that's the Nine of Cups. Either way, it's a good card. In general, the Ten of Cups, it speaks of a happy family life, even if you're single, and to the overall well-being that goes beyond you yourself, to include those that you are most concerned about, such as your parents, siblings, children, and much more. Being spiritually fulfilled is also a part of the picture. This is a good card to see, regardless of any questions. The Ten of Cups, it's paired with the Temperance card. Now, although your relationships, they were likely to be going quite well at that time, you may need it to, you may have needed to look, um, well, look at your deep personal issues. You probably need to look into your deeper personal issues at that time. You needed to see if or how they were standing in your way, and if they were, how to work through them and to integrate them. The ideal at that time was to do what it took to find balance in yourself and in your relationships and with your goals and aspirations. That's the temperance card, and that's a recent past. So we move on to the present. We have the Five of Swords. Now, I guess you can see the picture. I hope you can. But it, it's clearly showing that you have some mixed feelings about life in general and probably about a few people in particular. Don't ignore these feelings or thoughts, but don't feel like you have to speak every word you're thinking. Uh, don't speak every word you're feeling either, as you could ruin the very things that you want the most such as close friendships, intimate relationships with friends and lovers. So think several times before you really let someone have it, even if you know they deserve it. Pick your battles at this time. The Five of Swords is paired with the Chariot. Now the Chariot indicates a lot of energy, but it's not. It's not a free-for-all energy. It's directed, it's controlled. And it has a goal in mind. When this card appears in a reading, you're probably likely to be fairly clear on what your hopes and dreams involve and what you are willing to do to make them come true. Now overall, this card, it points to determination and ambition. It's about getting things done and testing and proving that you have what it takes. This is a sign that you should move forward with whatever you have in mind and in your heart and give it your best shot. Remember that you'll need to use both your intellect and your heart in order to fully be successful or to truly be successful. With these two cards paired together, the Five of Swords, you have mixed feelings about something or someone. It could be a few people in particular. Don't ignore your feelings. Don't speak whatever's off the top of your head because you could ruin some, some really good relationships right now. Okay? Pick your battles at this time. It's paired with the chariot. Um, you're going to have a lot of energy. The energy is directed and controlled. Okay? It's about determination and ambition. Um, because it's paired with the Five of Swords, you've got mixed feelings about this energy. You've got a lot of energy, and it's just making you want to do more things. And the energy is directed, and, and it's controlled with... Um, 
you're, fa you're fairly clear on what your hopes and dreams involved, but you've got mixed feelings. So you're not sure, really not sure on which way to take whatever you're trying to do or whatever you're trying to accomplish. And you could have some mixed feelings about a few people that's really bothering you right now. And you want to speak your mind, but it's saying to have di direction and control those thoughts with the chariot. Um, because it's going to be important that you don't lose your lover and your friend at this this time. You want to say some things, but you kind of have to bite your tongue right now. Just let some things cool down before you really let somebody have it right now. Um, use the chariot's method of directed and control energy. And that's going to be the present. Now let's move on to the challenge. We have the Two of Cups. Now this refers to romantic partnerships, but it's not its only connotation. It can speak of balance, friendship, joy, and sharing. Overall, this card says that things are likely to be going well, and you should be feeling more than usually loved, more than usually cared for, and content. The Two of Cups is paired with the Three of Pentacles, now this is a very positive card, particularly with regards to work and career questions. But it's a good overall card in the tarot. That means that things are doing, going really well for you right now. The Three of Pentacles tells you that the people around you, they appreciate your efforts. They appreciate you and they notice the quality of what you do, even if you're not getting paid for it. The Three of Pentacles, it tells you to keep doing what you're doing because you're on the right track. At this time, you will not need to scrap something then restart it. You will not have to do that because you're on the right track. With these two cards paired together, the Two of Cups, it's a very romantic, it's a very uh, good romantic partnership, uh, friendship, joy, sharing. You're feeling more than usually loved, and it's paired with the Three of Pentacles. Uh, people around you, they appreciate your efforts. They notice the quality of work you're doing. You're on the right track. Very po Two very positive cards. Uh, okay, so, yeah. The romance is good with the Two of Cups. Uh, the friendships are good with the Two of Cups and with the Three of Cups. Uh, you're on the right track with whatever you're doing, so keep doing it. And that's going to be the challenge. Now let's move on to the outcome. We have the Five of Wands. This refers to com competition. As you can see, they look like they're both ready to battle it out on the card. The picture on the card, it shows that. So it's about competition, usually in work or career, but it can sometimes mean romantic rivals. So don't be afraid of competing at this time. Just know that you have something to offer and you can be successful too. But you have to try to see the results. When this card appears, your need to believe in yourself is stronger than ever now. So hold your head up high and have faith that you'll end up in the place that's right for you. You may be thinking, of making a career change at this time, know that you can be successful too if you try. And that's the Five of Wands paired with the Moon card. You are definitely in a more psychic and intuitive phase than normal, than usual. So it's going to be important for you to trust your instincts and your impressions, even if you're not sure where it's coming from. Also, not that you need to be mistrusting, but it will be helpful for you to realize that when this card appears in a reading, it's possible that all is not what it seems. So if you feel you cannot trust someone, then you probably cannot. Go with your gut if you're wanting, or if you're waiting on an answer from someone, it may, unfortunately, take longer than you would like for it to, so, so try to stay patient. With these two cards paired together, the Five of Wands, 
or your first competition. It could be work. It could be a romantic rival. Just keep your head up high. Okay, no, you have to be stronger than ever in the mind. Your, your mind, your thinking has to be stronger than ever now because it's a competitive situation, whatever it is. And it's paired with the moon card. You're feeling psychic about the competition. Okay, your instincts and your impressions. Go with your instincts and impressions regarding this competition and you'll come out on top because your instincts, they're, they're really high, they're really at a very intuitive phase now. Okay, if you feel something's not right or something's not like it should be, you're probably right. Go with your gut instincts during this competition. Okay, and make sure you try to stay patient because um, for the competition to finish or for it to come to completion, it's going to take longer than you would like for it to. So you'll be battling it out longer than you really want it to, to, to go to war. So um, that's with the moon card and the five of wands. And that's the outcome. So Aquarius, I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you care to do. I thank you so very much for watching and have a great day.